superstitious fans, all the parade talk makes us worry. Don't jinx it. Don't worry, because the moon says the Chiefs are going to win it. We're joking, kind of. Fox 4's Jacob Kittlestat live from Union Station with the anti-jinx report. Jake? Yeah, well, a sports fan online pointed this out. His name is Jay Kuda, and he started tracking the moon back when he noticed a few years ago that his White Sox were 0-7 when they were playing underneath a full moon. So for Super Bowl 58, those teams will be playing under a waxing crescent moon. And that's good news perhaps for the Chiefs because in 19 out of the last 20 times they've played under those conditions, they've won. Everything's always moving out in space. A full lunar cycle is 28 days. So what exactly is the phase slated for the Super Bowl coming after that dark new moon? For answers, we turn to Maddie Phillip, educator at the Arvin Gottlieb Planetarium. Whenever I was in like the sixth grade, I remember one of my teachers taught us wax on and then wane off. And when it's in that waxing crescent, we're seeing kind of like the, the toenail moon, so just a little sliver of it. The reason we see those phases is we are seeing the day and night cycle of the moon. The phase perhaps wouldn't be notable had the Chiefs not had their hot streak under it. To astrophysicists, it still might not indicate much. But to Cindy McKeon with Kansas City Astrology and Tarot, she attunes meaning from the growing moonlight. And we're finally starting to see it building up. So that means it's brand new energy. It's almost young energy. It's a fresh start. So it makes total sense that during the waxing crescent moon phase that they would have growth, renewal, self-improvement. And um, it works with their team and their incorporation date with the team anyway. How are you feeling about the Chiefs' chances in Super Bowl 58? Excellent. I remember last year I did have a feeling that the Chiefs would win, and they actually did. This year, it's an overwhelmingly favorable time for the Chiefs to win. And here's another superstition that you may have remembered earlier in the season. Patrick Mahomes said that he wore a specific pair of underwear given to him by his wife leading up to every game on that game day. Well, he said that he wouldn't wash those when he was on a hot streak. So, John, those are probably a little bit ripe these days. Uh, ripe with success, of course. Yes, whatever it takes, right? Jacob Kittlestad live at Union Station tonight, which is all lit up. Another sign of good luck. Our Chiefs coverage continues every day right up to Super Bowl 58, even from the road. I'm heading to Vegas with Rob Collins and Abby Eden. We'll bring you team coverage morning, noon or night as the Chiefs seek to bring home the Lombardi for the third time in five years. Our red specials also kick off next week to get you ready for Super Bowl 58.